beautiful people. Welcome to Classic Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and tonight is New Year's Eve, and we are getting all glammed and glitzied up to go absolutely nowhere. We're gonna go sit on the couch over here and watch New Year's Rockin' Eve, but we're gonna look fabulous while we do it. <laughs> so I will not be painting the town red tonight at all. Um, we actually are gonna go out to dinner, and like I found an outdoor dining spot that has like heating and whatnot, so we're gonna do that probably buy some like hats and like noisemakers off a street vendor make it home before 10 p.m get into our jammies and watch the ball drop on tv <laughs> so with that being said let's get into the transformation all right so you know your girl is not heavily into makeup i like to keep it pretty simple and because it is new year's eve i thought i would do a little some something <laughs> so first off we're going to talk about this hair so i'm going to try something new you know this year i've gotten into the phony ponies so i'm going to try one that i bought off of amazon i'll link everything down below all the products i'm using the hair <laughs> that i'll be wearing all that good stuff um but i'm going to try a different ponytail that i haven't used before or worn in this style so we'll see how that goes first off um this is kind of old hair i think i washed my hair like a few days ago and i've just been like slicking it back into a bun all week which is good because my hair tends to get poofy, so that'll help. All right, so before I do anything, what I like to do is just take my bottle. This is half and half water and aloe vera juice. So I'm just gonna spray my hair. Got that done. And now I'm just gonna, I put some edge control so my hair is like a little, not crunchy, but <laughs> um, it's not quite as pliable. So the water helps to kind of break that up all right here we go all right so we're trying to get this as high as we can and for hair ties i am in love still with these little bungee hair ties with the little hooks they are so good and then i'll just take my hair and just put it into like a little braid all right so now i'm just going to take my little braid and just wrap it around itself along with olive oil, shea butter, and black castor oil and flaxseed. All right, and take a little generous amount. The kitchen. Speaking of kitchen, in my family growing up, you always had to have black eyed peas and collard greens for New Year's. <laughs> So I feel like in 2020 and going into 2021, I need all of the good juju and good vibes that I can. I found a recipe <laughs> online for black eyed pea soup that you can make either in the crock pot or the instant pot. And I will be making that. <laughs> Your girl will be eating some black eyed peas and maybe kale instead of collard greens i'm not sure <laughs> um for new year's day most definitely so. so if you've watched my videos before you know that i like to take my old stockings and tights whenever they get runs in them and i cut them into little strips and then i use those to hold my hair down so to keep everything in place so that's what these are all right all right put on my little do-rag <laughs> All right, now let's get into this face. So I've been experimenting a little bit lately and what I've found that I really like is this Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer. I just take like a generous amount. And this feels so good when it goes on. All right, so I need to get some new concealer because this is like running on empty, but this is the L'Oreal True Match. It's the cool and tone because I have pink undertones and the medium deep color. So that's what I'm going to use here under my eye. Kind of be generous with it. And then, all right, and then next for, I don't like to wear a lot of foundation but I've really been liking this Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint, and this is in the color G4. Drizzle this all over my face, 
like so. So next I'm gonna like blend all this in and I'm using, this is not an artiste brush or artist's brush, whatever. Um, before I invest, cause those brushes are kind of pricey. I bought these Dorme brushes on Amazon. You get like a whole pack. There's like 10 to 12 brushes in here. Um, <laughs> and I really like them. So I think now based on my experience with these, I think I'm going to go ahead and get like one or two of the artist brushes, but a lot of influencers have gotten them for free. <laughs> and I was thinking like, I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> Send me some free brushes. So anyway, artist has not sent me some free brushes. <laughs> um, but based on how these are holding up, uh, and how I like these, like I do notice a difference applying my makeup with these as opposed to like traditional brushes. Um, I am gonna go ahead and dip into my own pocket. <laughs> Buy an artist brush. Ooh, maybe I'll do a comparison and tell you how they compare to like the Amazon cheapy brands. Um, and I will let you know if they are worthwhile, my unbiased kind of uh, review. <laughs> let me know down in the comments, Does do you trust um, when influencers, like a lot of influencers get the same product for free and they're all like raving about it? Does it make you more likely to want to try something or does it have like the opposite effect and like turn you off? I'm like curious to know that. So let me know about that down in the comments. Next, we're gonna get into these brows. So I told you guys, I will never have brows that are like super on fleek. <laughs> just because, you know, your girl likes to be natural. But what I've been liking to do lately is just kind of brush everything up. And these are like my COVID brows because I have not been to <laughs> a salon to be threaded. Um, since like February, I don't think. But I do see a little stray thing here. I'm gonna like pluck, hold on, off camera. All right, so I did get a few stray My Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, and this is the color Espresso. I just kind of brush everything upwards. I'm so glad that like the bushy brow look is in. <laughs> Going again with just like this little brow brush. And just sort of clean that up a little bit okay. so fun little fact um your girl <laughs> this is always you know that 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 game two truths and a lie um one i always like to throw in there is that i have had plastic surgery and that is the one that is true. I have had plastic surgery. Now you're like, Kendra, what did you get done? Did you get a nose job? Did you get a boob job? I was actually <laughs> in a car accident as a child when I was like three or four years old. Um, we got hit, my mom, my dad and I were in the car together. We got hit by a truck driver and I fractured the bone around my eye and I had to get plastic surgery right here to kind of touch that up. So yes, I've had, I've been under the knife, I've had plastic surgery. <laughs> so there you go. Um, um, next, we are going to do the eyes. So I think I'm gonna do eyeliner. I'm gonna do some black eyeliner. And this is just, I don't even know what brand this is. I've had this for so long, it like wore off. I can't tell what this is. Um, but I'm just gonna do a regular black eyeliner. It's like a coal eye pencil. So give me a second. I wanna try a new palette. It's Urban Decay and it's Naked Petite Heat. I've never used this before. But it looks pretty. I love this like packaging. Here we go. So these are the colors. Oh, or do I want something a little bit more shimmery? I might have to combine this because I think I want something because it's the holidays. Uh, I want something more shimmery. So I'm gonna use this and then maybe go on something else. I think I'm gonna go in with the wild thing first and use that as our base color. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like it's like terracotta color. Oh, it's really pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay. All right. So 
I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. And then I think I'm gonna use this strike color on the outside. I watched this tutorial and it was saying if you are for aging eyes. <laughs> I don't know what I just I'm talking about all this like aging thing, like I feel old or something. Um <laughs> you should take your brush and do up to give it a lift in the outer corners so I don't I don't know if that makes a difference <laughs> all right here we go so we got another urban decay palette this is the born to run and I'm gonna go in with this stranded color because it has a little bit of sparkle to it and I think that'll look pretty here it's a little shim shim, a little shim shimmery, shim shim shiru. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, I think that's like from what Mary Poppins, shim shimmery, shim shimmery, shim shim shiri, or chim shimmery, whatever. Um, your girl, I hate musicals. I know I might lose some followers over that, but. <laughs> hate musicals yeah so i have walked out <laughs> in intermission of like mary poppins in particular i left that during intermission i've tried to see fan of the opera like several times have never made it all the way I like through. plays i love plays it's just something about musicals the only all right now i just found my little fluffy brush and i'm just gonna kind of blend all this together I've really been into Glossier's Cloud Paint and so the color is Haze. I've really, really been liking these. So I just like a little bit goes a long way. So <laughs> just like a little dab like that. I like to blend it in with this smaller brush and just take it. And I like to take it out to my, to my temple, all right? And I just feel like it gives you a nice glow from within. I'm going to use some of the Fenty Trio Stick. Probably should have done this before I put my blush on. But this I like to just put right here. And that's I that. how people have time to do all that. But yeah, I just like to put a little a bit of that right here. I know I have my own order for doing things. <laughs> I find this brush just really gets in there and like blends all that out. So yes, digging it. And this is the color Espresso in the Trio Stick. And then I'm going to use Cinnamon. A little bit on my nose and a little bit right here. Just for some highlight. I like to highlight. Yeah. All right. A pimple. See? No, that's not a pimple. I, like, <laughs> I thought I had a little piece of like, I don't know, fiber on my face and it looked like a pimple um, in the reflection in the mirror. <laughs> and I was like, dang, did I jinx myself so quickly? Good grief. But no, no pimples. Just a, just a fiber. Oh, yes. I'm going to use my Kilowatt Fenty um, Highlight. And with this, I'm going to use a brush. So let me grab a brush from I'm somewhere. I'm going to use either Ginger Binge or Moscow Mule. I'm going to use Moscow Mule. I have to be so careful. This is so ghetto. <laughs> Just put a little bit there. And a little bit there. And a little bit here. All right. There we go. And then, oh, lips. Gotta do the lips. Do I wanna do a red lip? I feel like it is New Year's and I love red lipstick. I'm gonna do a, oh, but no, cause then my nails and stuff. Oh, let me think about this. All right, compromise. So we're not gonna do my traditional red lip. Like you all know, I love me some Lime Crime Red Velvet. Oh, love this. But 
I'm gonna do because I don't know if it's gonna go with my nails and the whole look I have planned or looks that we're gonna try um, I'm gonna do this Elizabeth Arden <clears throat> And it's the bold red color. It's called bold red. But watch when I put this on. This is not red at all. I don't know who named this. And what they were thinking. But like, this ain't red, right? <laughs> this is not red. And then they had the nerve to call it bold red. I'm like, this is not, this is not red. <laughs> It's pretty, but it's not red. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna just take this like Lip Tonics Extreme Shimmer Topper. This you can get at any sort of drugstore. I, I usually use Wet n Wild. Um, it's like a coppery sort of color. And I like these blended together. All right, so that is our lip and that is our look. I like it. It's kind of hard to get the full effect with like the hair. So I want to say that I put a lot of Eco Styler gel on and my hair is probably not dry at all. So what we're gonna, no, it's not dry at all. Um, what I'm gonna do next is my nails. So I'm going to do that off camera because it's kind of boring. All right, so um, we're going to do something fun for nails. I bought these nail wraps on Amazon and they come in all these fun colors. Green, blue. There's like 20 packs in here. I'm going to do this pink and silver one. I think it's very pretty. It's like an ombre effect. So I'm going to go into the living room, probably watch some YouTube videos because um, I'm just like you. <laughs> and pop these on and hopefully by the time I'm done my hair will be dry and if not I'll just blow dry it so yes that's what we're gonna do next all right peeps I am back so I did my nails and look how beautiful and sparkly they are <laughs> so if you were paying attention when I was doing my makeup you may have realized that I did not apply mascara um that's because I forgot <laughs> But I'm glad because we're actually going to do some falsies. Yes. I told you we're getting glam for the holidays, for New Year's. So yeah, I went to an event with Kiss and tried their new Falsgara lashes. Um, actually, they're not new anymore. They've been out for quite some time. <laughs> this was like pre-pandemic. So I really had a great time at that event. We learned from like a celebrity makeup artist how to apply these. I have since forgotten because that was months ago. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this. So yeah. wish me luck. They, I remember it being pretty easy and I watched a little tutorial. So they do give you instructions. So I'm gonna be following those pretty closely. <laughs> I got tons of these because I went to the event and they have different versions. So I'm using the lifting kit. And then if you already buy the kit, you only just need the lashes going forward. So you can just buy the lashes like individually. So that's what I have here. But you have your applicator and then you have your, your bond agent with biotin, which helps promote lash growth. And then you also have your seal with vitamin E. So all simple. All right, so first you take it and you apply your bond. And this is the glue. And what's different about these lashes is that you apply them underneath your lashes, not on top. I'm like so nervous. <laughs> I don't know why, because like if I mess up, I can just edit it out. So, <laughs> duh. Um, that's the magic of YouTube. Oh, I don't know why I just dropped. One of the suggestions was to start from the middle and then work your way out and then go to the inner so okay i'm gonna have to look over here stop being nervous i'm like holding my breath <laughs> okay i'm just applying the last one to the inner corner just kind of tap it into place and there you go. Oh, all right, so I did the second side and I feel like that went a lot more smoothly. So the next step after
after you've applied your lashes is you want to go in with the seal with the vitamin E and just apply that. Okay, like so. The last time I had false lashes, um, like previously, like years ago when I got married and I did the same exact thing on my wedding day, she applied the lashes and I was like, oh my God. And I like cut them at the inner corner. <laughs> Cause like so I can look like myself okay and then what I like to do after I apply false lashes is just to go ahead and put a little bit more liner in just to make that look more natural there's nothing natural looking about this but <laughs> no, you're not supposed to necessarily put mascara on when you have false lashes but I won't tell if you don't tell <laughs> so yes I'm gonna just apply a little bit of mascara here we go and then next i think my hair should be dry all right peeps so this is just a regular regular drawstring ponytail nothing fancy got it from amazon and it's like the kinky straight i believe so that'll kind of i'm a natural so so kind of like mimic blow dried hair and she's long <laughs> And she's dramatic. So yes, we're gonna slay on the couch to New Year's Rockin' Eve or whatever whatever show it is now. And you just whip it around and stick it in here at the top. And then just in the back, there's another set of teeth at the bottom. So I'm sticking it right into the base of the ponytail. So now we just take our drawstring and I just wrap it around the base of the ponytail a few times. Take our good friend bobby pin here. All right, so we have our inches. Ooh, this is cute. <laughs> All right, peeps, so the next step is just to take a big chunk of hair from the back of our phone pony. And this is a mistake that I made previously it was like not taking a chunk that was long enough I mean sorry thick enough you want like a pretty decent sized chunk like about an inch thick an inch and a half thick and then take that and wrap it around the base of the ponytail just to kind of finish it off and just take that and wrap it all the way around I'm just gonna use a bobby pin to kind of make sure that stays this hair ain't going nowhere. All right, and then kind of brush out our inches a bit more. And I love it. Ooh, this is so cute. This is such a change. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I have, I'm resisting the urge to like twist it and put it up in a bun because that's what I always do. But you know, for New Year's, I feel that the point is to be dramatic. Now we gotta slickify these edges. And I told you guys previously, this Arcani Coil Care is the bomb. Like, I love it. We got our so. professional edge slayage tool. <laughs> so basically, I just like to comb pretty much all my gray baby hairs forward. <laughs> and I told you guys before, occasionally I do use a, little, a bit of um, Just For Men gel. Um, but I just forgot, you know, whatever. Just rocking with it. These are my little sparklers. That's what a friend called it. She's like, yeah, you have little sparklers. So yes, my my sparkles for the new year. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna do any like designs, whatever. I'm just gonna like work with them, let them do what they do. Not too bad. Oh, I'm like an Instagram baddie. <laughs> Not really. Um, and then I'm just going to take some Moroccan Oil Glimmer Shine Finishing Spray. Just to make it glossy. Brush it in. Give us some shine. All right. And there you go. There you have it. All right. I'm so glad that I did this even though you know I'm not partying I'm so glad that I got a little bit glam with you guys so now let's try some outfits so here
here we have look number one that fabulous Stina Goya dress that I bought earlier this year and wear it on my birthday but it was a little bit too chilly and it's probably gonna be a bit too chilly tonight to wear it <laughs> but if I'm at home on the couch why not so I paired it with these gorgeous sparkly beautiful J Crew heels that I bought a few years ago but they do holiday pumps like this every year and then we have our phony pony. <laughs> and these earrings that I don't wear often enough. They're these, these sort of like clear chandelier effect earrings. I believe these are also from J. Crew. J. Crew has like the best sparkly accessories. Oh my of course, gosh. for my handbag, we have this sparkly little stunner that matches my nails. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty. <laughs> so, yes, that is the first option for an ensemble. So cute. I am really into this hair, y'all. And the eyelashes are even growing on me, too. I feel like a Barbie doll. <laughs> on to the next one. Okay, so this next look is one that I kind of put together on a whim. So the top you've seen in a previous video, I got it from Zara last year. Love it. And the skirt is actually a petticoat that I got to go underneath a dress last year like two years ago and i was trying on some stuff and then i happened to have this blouse on and i was like wait a minute do i have an outfit <laughs> so i put on this belt that i got from amazon and i was like yep your girl has a look <laughs> so because this poofy bow and poofy skirt make a big statement i decided to go pretty minimal with accessories so so these earrings were actually a christmas gift i will get into these later in a different video but if you know you know <laughs> and for my shoes i'm just wearing my suede manolo blonic bb pumps and then for a clutch, I'm carrying this little Dior beauty tote. I'm actually going to do a tutorial soon and show you how to turn this into a crossbody handbag. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, I love this outfit so much. I feel like the hair just kind of sets it off. And I feel so cute and chic and girly in this. I just feel like this look is just so fun. It's like a black swan sort of outfit. Oh, I love it. The Vampire's Wife collection from H&M came through for your girl in this gorgeous metallic silver brocade dress with the matching cape. Yes, it's a cape. This is so beautiful. I feel so fancy. I love it. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I don't care if outside isn't open. <laughs> so cute oh love it so much uh, i think i might wear this to dinner tonight we'll see how i feel i don't know if i'm feeling extra this is probably the most extra thing in my wardrobe right now <laughs> i will wear this or I might go with something a little more chill and comfortable because no babysitter um christian will be dining with us so <laughs> oh but i love it Love so much. I just left on the same Manolo pump crystal clutch peg and for earrings another pair of sparklers from J. Crew. <sighs> Love this one so much. Should I wear it? Should I wear it? I should wear it. Peeps, so this next look is probably what I will rock once we get home for the night. Uh, like I said, I'm going to watch the ball drop on the television. <laughs> and I still want to be glam and extra. So I'm wearing this fabulous silky red gown that has part of the Joanna Ortiz collection for H&M that I reviewed earlier this year. I love this. This is like giving me all of the like 60s or 70s maybe like um, just caftan loungewear. Remember the show Three's Company? I used to love that show as a kid. And Mrs. Roper. <laughs> I feel like if I had like a big cocktail ring and like, you know, well, I have the eyelashes and all of that. I feel like this is definitely like a Mrs. Roper outfit, <laughs> but in a good way. In any case, I love it. This will be fabulous for just lounging around on the couch, sipping some champagne, watching the ball drop, being comfortable, being cute. Christian will be in bed by that time. So yes, honey, oh, I love this so much. 
look at it. I never get over like the twirl factor and just, I bought this dress like two sizes too big, <laughs> but I love it because I feel like it just gives me more fabric to like toss around. All right, guys, so that about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much, as always, from the bottom of my heart. 2020 has been one heck of a year, <laughs> so we all deserve to end it on a glamorous note. YouTube has definitely been just like a great outlet and an escape from everything going on in the world right now. Um, and also, too, for all of you guys who support and watch every video and always leave a comment, thank you so much. I love you guys especially <laughs> it does not go unnoticed so let's just say cheers i wish you all wealth health happiness peace <laughs> in the new year and as always until next time stay classy and stay fabulous i would wave but you know i got champagne in my hand <laughs> bye guys i still can't get over how much i love this hair this ponytail i mean this might be my look in 2021 i'm just so geeked now i'm pretty sure eric's not gonna like it <laughs> sometimes a gal just has to do what makes her happy